Good morning. It's your gourmet cave woman back with you again. So this morning I'm going to create a really wonderful green smoothie uh, with a twist. I'm going to use dandelion leaves, celery juice, cucumber juice, lemon juice, turmeric, ginger, I'm going to use a cup of frozen mango chucks, half a banana, and I'm going to use a tablespoon of brain octane oil and a scoop of collagen protein powder. And I want to just tell you a little bit about dandelion and I'll list the um, nutritional um, facts about it at the bottom of the video. Dandelion is um, a green that I hardly ever see being used in smoothies. And dandelion, one of the biggest thing about dandelion leaves is that it's extremely powerful if you have a problem with constipation. So together with all of these various things that I'm putting into my smoothie this morning, uh, it's going to be very liver friendly. And it's going to be very good for kidney cleansing. It's just an overall very powerful green drink, as all my drinks are. So today, as I said, I haven't really used dandelions in a long time. And I bought a whole big bunch. So I'll be using them quite a bit. So I'll be back with you in a moment. I'm just going to juice all of these in my Breville juicer. And then put everything into my... Instapot blender. I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so I'm back and I um, got about two cups of juice from my uh, celery, cucumber, ginger, turmeric, and lemon. Now, I've said it before in my videos, but I'm just going to remind you again. When you juice lemon, do feel free to leave the peel on. Oranges, you have to peel. Uh, but with the uh, lemons, there's a lot of nutrition and it's perfectly uh, fine and it's very nutritious. And that goes back to what I learned from uh, my late, very missed juice man, Jay Cordage. I learned that from him many, many years ago. So there you go. So I'm going to um, put all of these things in my blender. I've got a heaping big cup full of uh, frozen mango, my banana, and I'm adding banana because, you know, dandelion is a very bitter herb, but believe you me, it's extremely powerful for cleansing the, um, the liver, the kidneys, and it really will help you if you are um, constipated. I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so I'm back and I'm also going to add this wonderful um, herb just to give it um, a little extra zip. I'll, li I'll list all that at the bottom of the video. And now I'm going to add my juice. Here I have everything in my blender now. And I think probably I'm going to have to get some coconut, raw coconut water to add more liquid because I don't want this to be overly thick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So this is the raw harmless harvest coconut water I like to use. So I'm gonna add that and uh, start blending it and I'll be right back. Okay, so in total my liquid is three cups. So let's see if that's enough. And I'm going to use my smoothie and my start. It's programmed for one and a half minutes. All right then, here it is, wonderful, it's a perfect uh, consistency, it's very smooth, it's not too thick, it's not too thin, and uh, it's actually quite palatable. I mean, speaking for my own self, 
I can handle the taste of the dandelion. Uh, anybody else, like more mainstream kind of people that, you know, prefer more sweetness, you can adjust this recipe uh, to however you uh, prefer. And uh, you can also use less dandelion leaves, if you like, and more banana or more frozen fruit. Or you could use apple juice. And there's so many different variations, but it really did turn out very well. And uh, I've got enough here for the next two days. So I uh, would appreciate it if you press the like button and the subscribe button if this is your first visit to my channel. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really find it a very therapeutic experience creating all these wonderful recipes for you. And in the hope that I can inspire you to add these to your um, daily uh, dietary program. They will definitely uh, make you feel better and uh, give you a better quality of life. But the key is to be consistent. Don't drink, uh, you know, make them and drink them only once in a while. It should be a daily practice in your, uh, on your menu. So again, um, hang in, stay calm, be patient, uh, stiff upper lip as the Brits say. And this will all soon be over, and I look forward to returning with some more exciting recipes. Thank you.